Now back to that breaking news. One of the people charged with killing an Uber driver pleading guilty today. That man's family looking on as James Stevens took a plea deal avoiding life behind bars. NBC Charlotte's Richard Devane was in court. He is live at five and Richard and very emotional day for that family. Absolutely correct. We can tell you that basically inside the courtroom, there are a lot of tears, a lot of hugging, especially when what happened was described by the state. And then outside, we watched as the family left, and there was also a lot of tears, if not a lot of words spoken. Now, basically, the family of Marlo Mandina Chavez walked out of the Mecklenburg County Courthouse today without making a statement about a plea agreement with one of the two men accused of killing their loved one. Today, James Aaron Stevens took a plea agreement with the state. In exchange for dropping a first-degree murder charge, he pleaded guilty to second-degree murder for the 2016 murder of Medina Chavez, who was an Uber driver. Stevens faced the possibility of life in prison if convicted on first-degree murder charges if the plea agreement does mean that he could now spend the next 32 years in prison. His sentencing will be continued, so we still have an ongoing case with the, uh, the co-defendant. Um, and the, the sentencing of this defendant will be done once the uh, uh, case is done with the co-defendant. The co-defendant pled not guilty last Thursday. Yeah. And that co-defendant, DeAndre Adams, plans to take his case to trial. We can tell you that Stevens will be a, a state witness against his former, now former co-defendant. Of course, he is uh, facing trial, and if he is found guilty, he could spend the rest of his life in prison. As for the sentencing of Stevens, that'll come sometime at the conclusion of his co-defendant, his now former co-defendant's trial. Of course, we'll continue to follow all the details of this, but for now, we're right here at the Mecklenburg County Courthouse. Richard of Hain. NBC Charlotte. Richard, thank you for that update.